With over 1,500 videos under our belts, that is 1,500 times you have had to hear Beardo go on about something and don't starve. And while that means that we have truly covered nearly every inch of this game, there are still overlooked mechanics, topics missed, and tidbits that many of us have just straight up forgotten in the grand scheme of things. And that is where this new, hopefully recurring series comes into play now. What do giant veggies, explosives, and an item that simply switches our skins have to do with one another? Other? Almost nothing. And that's the point, folks. Here are seven random and hidden facts about Don't Stop Together that you didn't know. For the most part, that is. As of course, I'm not gonna know what's gonna come as a surprise to one or the other. But have you ever had a night hand shock you and your fires come 75% sanity and below? Screw running them down into the darkness, which might get you in trouble. Just blast them away with a clean sweeper. Yes, indeed, folks. Your eyes did not deceive you there. Night hands lose their target on our fires if and when we swap the skins on them and we'll instantly die off not to be seen until another night or two. It's cool stuff. But you know, we aren't quite finished sweeping yet. Not when it's also our ticket to, to infinite light at the end of the day. Now it's only infinite because I am spamming the thing, but the fact of the matter is that a fire cannot lose its fuel percentage if clean sweeped in this way. So if you're either low on fuel for some reason, or you're just hoping to never lose your flame, just continuously spam a clean sweeper on it. Once again, it's pretty neat. But what about some actual gameplay mechanics that the majority will care about beard. Ah yes, don't you worry. These videos will also share those very same things too. Like some puddle manipulation here. Anywhere we encounter a melted ice glacier, be it a natural one or one from a pangol colony, we can drop anything, light of the blaze, and after a couple seconds, said puddles will disappear, giving you back the space needed to build there potentially. Make notes, and you can even use the scorching sunfish for this for Pete's sake. To continue though, it is inevitable to see the moonstone here quote unquote to lock our inserted star caller staffs after a few moments into the event with no hope of actually grabbing it back until said event is over. But if for some reason you truly do have second thoughts about finishing it, you should get to detonating. Explosives like Slurtle Slime and Gunpowder can actually shatter the moonstone at any time, even while it's active. And heck, as a little added bonus fact, the moonstone itself actually has two broken states before we're able to fix it with the single moonstone as you just saw, so that's not bad, eh? I hope so, as I do enjoy the idea of these showcases moving forward, so here's the more. We can also raise a class to the fact that sunken food is actually preserved better than the rest. No, not kidding. If one uses the pinching winch to turn a giant veggie into a underwater salvageable, only to pluck it back up a few days later, they will find that their wet crop is actually healthier than their dry one. Now this is really neat for two reasons in my mind. Number one, water in this game usually spoils stuff faster. So number two, clay must have coated the underwater to be cold to delay the spoilage timer. Or this is just a straight up coincidence. Either way, this is definitely a freaking fact. And to spin off it a bit, even though we can't interact with them in any way beyond a pinching winch, and can even boat directly over them with no trouble, every single underwater salvageable in this game is waveproof, everyone. Every single one, from veggies to celestial altars. And I gotta be honest, even I didn't know this one until today. Now I'm not sure what sort of gameplay this is gonna inspire, but still, it's a thing. As is our last fact of the day, the Pig King's refusal to take frog legs as payment for gold, even though they absolutely count as meat in every other way. Now this is likely one that most already know or have encountered in their day-to-day -day gameplay, but that's not actually why it was included here. Sometimes these showcases will just choose to highlight the more obscure references within this game as well. The pigs and merms hate each other, so of course the Pig King won't trade his gold for their filth. It's fun stuff. And there you have it, everyone. The very first installment of seven facts you didn't know about blah, 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 all inspired by you. Yes, you heard that right. Be it Discord suggestions, YouTube comments, Twitch nonsense, or otherwise, these quote-unquote guides will be fueled by yours and my imagination. If Beardo runs out of ideas, that is. Which he might honestly be doing so sooner rather than later. But whatever the case, hope someone somewhere learns something new and exciting today. And thanks for watching, folks. Leave your own facts below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.